This is an example quiz question about sliding window flow control. In this question, the sliding window protocol is using a 3-bit sequence number. That means that each frame is, is numbered from 0 through to 7, and then we wrap around back to 0 again. And the protocol has a maximum window size of, of 7 frames, meaning the source node is allowed to send uh, at a maximum of 7 frames before it must wait for an act. The current state of the source is that the, of the two variables, last frame act is set to 3 and last frame transmitted set to 6. Let's try and draw that and see what that means. Firstly, last frame act equals 3. So we can think of if the last frame act is 3, then that means frame with sequence number 3 and frames before that, 2, 1, 0, and before that, have been already transmitted. I write transmitted as TX, transmitted, and we've received an act back for them. So I'll write transmitted and act. So we'd like to keep track of uh, the different frames at the source node and, and the state of those frames. So last frame act of 3 will separate that and distingu distingu distinguish this set of frames from uh, future frames. So frame 3, last frame, act. Because we transmit frames in order, the next frame to deal with will be frame 4. Back to our question we note that the last frame transmitted was number 6. So that means frames number 4, 5, and 6 have been transmitted at this point in time. So note that these are transmitted, but not yet act. That is, we've sent them, but we haven't received an acknowledgement from the destination yet. So the last frame transmitted is 6. Tx for transmit, transmitted. Now with sliding window, the source is allowed to have uh, a window size, or the maximum window size number of frames outstanding. So we've currently got 3 transmitted. The maximum window size is 7 which means at this point in time the source is allowed to send another four frames. Three transmitted plus another four frames allowed to be sent. So we'll break them up and say frame seven, zero, because we wrap around, one and two. They are the set of frames which are allowed to be sent. At this point in time. And in fact, this set of frames, 7 through to 2, these four frames represent the window at this point in time, or the we can say the current window size is 4. Any subsequent frames are not yet allowed to be transmitted. So frames 3, 4, 5 and, and so on, not yet allowed. I'll just write not, not allowed. The idea is that the source is allowed to send a, a window of frames before it waits for an act. At this point in time it's sent three frames. It's allowed to send another four when it has them ready to send. Now back to the question, we see the next thing that happens is that the node transmits three data frames. So let's consider what happens after that transmission of three data frames. Be, be careful, it means that three different frames would be sent. It doesn't mean the sequence number of the frame is three. So if three frames have been sent, then we already know that four, five, and six have been sent. So the next three to be sent, when we send in order, would be 7, 0, and 1. 
We'll keep track of the transmitted and act, which is still the same at this point in time. 0, 1, 2 and 3 are done. 4, 5 and 6 have been transmitted, plus another 3 data frames, so 7 and 0 and 1 have been transmitted. And that leaves us one remaining allowed to be transmitted. Frame 2 is allowed to be transmitted, meaning the current window size is 1. 3, 4 and 5 and beyond are still not allowed. That was just after the transmission of three frames, 7, 0 and 1. Back to the question, something else happens. The source receives an ACK and the number inside that ACK is 6. What that number means is that the destination has, has finished processing up until including frame 5 because this ACK number indicates the next number expected. So frames up until including 5 have been effectively acknowledged by the destination. So before we had 0, 1, 2 and 3 transmitted and ACK, but with the reception of the ACK we now know that 4 and 5 have been transmitted and also ACT. So we'll move this vertical bar to here to indicate that's the separation of transmitted and ACT up until 5. Transmitted but not yet ACT is still 6, 7, 0 and 1. 2 is not yet transmitted, we're allowed to transmit. But because we received an ACK for 2 frames, that allows us to transmit an additional 2 frames. So that will be 3 and 4. So our window expands. 5 and beyond, still not yet allowed to be transmitted. So the result is after our initial state, we first transmit 3 frames, 7, 0 and 1. Our window shrinks from 4 down to 1. And then we receive an ACK with an ACK number 6, meaning up until 5 has been acknowledged. So the reception of that ACK acknowledges two frames, frames 4 and 5, allowing us to transmit another two frames, frame 3 and 4. So our window size grows to 3. The end result is that the last frame ACT is 5. The last frame transmitted is 1. And the current window size is 3. And from that we can answer our question, which is what is the new value of the current window size? So the answer in this case is 3. It is 3 frames long.